Hi, it's Katrina. From time that passes in slow motion to being able to see almost completely behind your head, here are eight radically different ways animals see the world around them. Number 8. Jumping spiders have better vision than humans. Despite having up to eight eyes, most spiders have poor vision and can merely detect the difference between light and dark, forcing them to rely primarily on their senses of touch and taste. At best, some spiders can make out shapes in the form of a low-resolution image of what they're looking at. One exception is the jumping spider. Its largest set of eyes face forward and enable it to see in high resolution. The jumping spider can also see more colors than humans, including ultraviolet shades. Its other eyes are for peripheral vision and motion detection. Researchers in Japan determined that the impeccable vision of this species can be attributed to something called image defocus, which enables them to compare a blurry image of an object with a clear image of it. The jumping spider also has four distinct layers of photoreceptor cells in its main eyes, as opposed to just one. While the top two layers contain UV-sensitive pigments, the bottom two contain green-sensitive pigments, and it's the green-sensitive pigments that facilitate image defocus. This species also seems to possess intelligence traits typically associated with larger species, including abstract thinking and the ability to plan ahead of time. Both characteristics are must-haves for predators that prey on other predators. The jumping spider can plot a route of attack thanks to its capability of retaining a mental image of where their target might be hiding. It's also attracted to blinking, which caused researchers who tested this ability to hide carefully from the spiders. Number 7. Some snakes have infrared vision. In most cases, snakes can only see combinations of two colors, usually green and blue. Some nocturnal species, however, can see ultraviolet light. Snakes that hunt during the day have eyes that filter blue and ultraviolet light out, almost like a pair of built-in sunglasses, which is also why these species often have yellow eyes. Snake vision is also thought to be blurry, with the exception of certain species such as the cobra. Many nocturnal snake species, including vipers, pythons, and boas, compensate for their poor eyesight with infrared vision. Humans and most other animals can generally only detect an infrared presence in the form of heat, in other words, by their sense of touch. Some snakes, on the other hand, render mental images of their surroundings, including hazards and prey, based on their ability to see temperature. Using their pit organs, which are holes between the nostrils and eyes that are activated by temperatures in excess of 28 degrees Celsius, these infrared vision-enabled species can receive these types of signals from up to a meter away. This trait is especially useful for hunting in the dark. The infrared capabilities some snake species are equipped with are thought to be some of the best on the planet, even better than what we have achieved with modern technology. Number 6. Box jellyfish can see pretty much everything. Most jellyfish have poor vision based on light-sensitive cells that basically tell them their position relative to the sky. In other words, they can see well enough to know the difference between up and down. The brainless box jellyfish is unique compared to most other species, with 24 eyes that serve four distinct purposes and essentially give it a 360-degree view of its surroundings. It's also known as the world's most venomous creature, so if you travel to the Australian coast or somewhere else the box jellyfish is known to dwell, be very careful. The box jellyfish is a great swimmer, making 180-degree turns as it travels across the ocean floor. One of its set of eyes, which detects obstacles, contributes to its ability to swim so skillfully. Other eyes serve basic visual functions. Additionally, the box jellyfish has eyes that point permanently upward and can see 8 meters or more above. These eyes help the animal make sure it stays near the roots of the mangrove trees that are a part of its habitat. Number 5. Migratory birds see Earth's magnetic fields. People have three types of cone cells that enable us to see various shades of red, green, and blue. In addition to these three types of cone cells, many birds possess a fourth type of cone cell that can detect ultraviolet light. Thanks to these ultraviolet cone cells, birds can see up to 99 million more colors than humans. They're also much faster at distinguishing differences between colors due to a special oil drop filter in each cone cell. This trait comes in handy when it comes to foraging for seeds, berries, fruits, and insects. Some predatory birds, such as the European kestrel, use their UV vision to detect the urine trails of their prey. 
The fascinating abilities of bird vision go beyond ultraviolet sight and superior color perception. A lot of birds can see the Earth's magnetic fields, a trait known as magnetoreception. Researchers believe that the magnetoreception possessed by various migratory bird species, such as robins and zebra finches, is made possible by a class of blue light-sensitive eye proteins called cryptochromes. The more you know. Do you wish you had this ability? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 4. Bats and Dolphins See Sound Many people believe that bats are blind. You know, blind as a bat. But this is actually a myth. In fact, bats see quite well. Some may even have better vision than humans in certain low-light conditions, including at dawn and dusk. This is thanks to a trait known as echolocation, which can be described in its simplest terms as the ability to see sound. Dolphins also have and use it. Bats use echolocation by bouncing high-frequency shrieks off their prey and surroundings. In just milliseconds, bats analyze the timing, frequency, and direction of the return echoes to understand their environment. This enables them to stalk and attack their prey with precision. Echolocation is used mainly by microbats, who rely on their eyes less than megabats, such as fruit bats and flying foxes. Microbats do, however, use their eyes, especially for socializing, navigational assistance, and spotting predators. Vision comes in handy at times because the echolocation range of a bat typically extends between 33 and 66 feet. Dolphins are thought to be more efficient than bats at using echolocation because sound travels faster in water. Some experts think that echolocation is used by dolphins as a form of communication, a sonopictorial language form, or sounds that are used to represent specific objects, places, and possibly even ideas. Number 3. Their perception of time is nothing like ours. Humans have lifestyles of varying paces, as you know. Chances are you've heard of a New York Minute, or its leisurely opposite known as island time. For animals, it's even more complicated than we know, and it depends mostly on the speed at which they process memory input. To learn about this, researchers tested various animals by flashing lights at different frequencies and measuring the test subject's brain activity. Some animals could detect frequencies of light that were so fast they appear as a constant light to humans. These animals see the world in bullet time, or what's more commonly referred to as slow motion, and time therefore passes at a totally different speed for them than it does for us. The phenomenon behind all these different perceptions of time is known as critical flicker fusion frequency. For dogs, who process visual information about a quarter faster than people, television looks like a series of flickering images. Flies are 400% faster at processing visual information than we are, which explains why it's so difficult to swat one. The world moves seven times slower for a fly than it does for us. A leatherback sea turtle experiences time around two and a half times faster than we do. For the most part, time passes more slowly for smaller animals, who tend to have higher metabolisms than larger creatures and shorter lifespans. This may even hold true for different sized beings of the same species, including humans. Number 2. Donkeys and horses have nearly 360 degree vision. Animals that stalk their prey and suddenly attack at short range, known as ambush predators, usually have vertical slit pupils, which help gauge distance with minimal head movement. On the other hand, grazing animals such as donkeys, horses, sheep, and goats typically have horizontal slit pupils, which absorb light from a wider field of vision, enabling a 350 degree range of sight, or nearly all the way around. To give you an idea of how expansive that is, humans are equipped with a 120 degree visual range. A donkey staring out at a body of water can see the water itself, the coast in both side directions, and a large portion of the inland environment behind it. Its only blind spots are narrow zones directly in front of and behind it. Also, due to a mutation known as cyclovergence, as the donkey moves its head downward, its view remains very similar. This is because cyclovergence causes the eyes to rotate in a way that keeps them parallel to the ground at almost all times. Unlike vertical slits, which are beneficial primarily for hunting, horizontal pupils help an animal spot predators. Several unrelated species, including mongooses, flying frogs, and octopuses, possess horizontal pupils thanks to evolution. Humans have circular pupils, which are useful for foraging, as well as the more modern task of using computers, because they assist us in seeing detail in brightly lit environments. 
Squirrels and birds also have circular pupils, which come in handy for foraging, but not for using computers. Circular pupils are also great for chasing down prey rather than stalking a target. Number 1. Sharks have surprisingly good vision. Because sharks have some impressively advanced senses, researchers assumed for a long time that their vision was poor. Sharks have some amazing capabilities, including the ability to detect a single drop of blood among millions of gallons of water. They can also hear very low frequency or infrasonic sounds, which helps them detect wounded fish, for example. Their pressure sensors, including pores that help them map their environments, are very sophisticated. Sharks can also sense electrical fields, which helps them track prey by picking up on their bioelectric signals, and may even enable them to migrate based on geomagnetic field lines. It's logical to conclude that such extraordinary abilities compensate for at least one that's lacking, which in the case of sharks would presumably be their vision. However, sharks have great eyesight. It differs from other senses mainly because it's not as important as the rest of them. Due to the placement of their eyes on their heads, sharks have a wide field of vision and can see in almost all directions at the same time. In clear water, sharks can see 10 times better than humans, and they still see pretty well in dark and murky water, even without taking their other senses into consideration. A shark's combination of keen senses are what make it one of the most effective predators on the planet. Which animal's remarkable sense of vision do you wish you had? Let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Origins Explained. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.